What's going on guys? It's me again. First and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Redcon1. Now for anyone who's been around this YouTube channel for any length of time, you may know or you may not that the reason I begun this channel was to do with bodybuilding and fitness. In fact, I've always had a passion for bodybuilding and fitness and I still do. So it made sense to finally connect with a worldwide trusted supplement brand. And the one that I've chosen for this YouTube channel is Redcon1. Now personally, I've been using Redcon 1 products for a good five years. The first product I ever used was Total War. It's a pre-workout. I don't use pre-workouts all the time, but if I do, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going straight for that Total War. You know, Redcon 1 as a brand is going from strength to strength. Head over to their website and check out their entire range of products. It's not just Total War and it's certainly not just supplements. They've got everything. So, whether you are from the United States, whether you're from Canada, or whether you're from the UK and Europe, you have an opportunity to head down into the description box below, check out the website link for whichever of the three regions you're in, use code T20JMC. So that's T20JMC for 20% off your order. And look, whether it's a t-shirt, a snapback, or a tub of Total War, I can guarantee you're gonna be happy. Once again, this video is brought to you exclusively by Redcon1. Myself and my YouTube channel are proud to be partnered with Redcon1. Head down into the description box below, check out all of the information, and uh, well, happy lifting, guys. And peace out. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I am your host, Jacob McDonald, and uh, it's my absolute pleasure to bring you at number 39 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players of 2021, Kyler Murray. He's a quarterback. He's been in the league for two or three years. Um, like I said in the previous video, he's, he's slightly undersized, but certainly not underskilled. So we're about to see all of that and more. If I can remember correctly, I reckon he came in last year at number 60. And if that's correct, then I'll give myself a pat on the back because it uh, means my memory's actually intact. So without further ado, it's time to roll the intro and let's crack into it. Kyler Murray, quarterback for the Cardinals. We're going to hear from a man on the opposite side of the ball. Would we call him oversized? No. We've got uh, Chase Young on screen. Rookie came in at number 60 on the list, and he's about to tell us just how shifty Kyler Murray really is. So let's get into it. He definitely is an animal. Ooh, yeah, I, like I like that. I like that. It's hard. It's hard. You know, I ain't going to say it's easy. And if you don't, you see, he does to you, and uh, you know he on this list this year. So a lot of people didn't contain him. Sixty, ninety, eh? Same diff, right? Playing with a laser with a cat, like he's like, they'll make you look stupid. Just means he's improved that much more. And I'm not sure if you can hear this, but we have a Harley Davidson in the next room that's just been fired up. So, Kyler Murray, in the first 30 seconds of this video, we've seen what we don't normally see from a quarterback's highlight reel, which is hardly any throws and a lot of rushing. But for me, uh, that is my type of quarterback. But I'm, I'm getting the feeling that we're going to see so much that it's going to be just a matter of uh, simply enjoying it. So let's let's have a look. Yeah, it's going to be, <laughs> there's not going to be too many quarterbacks that can uh, pull off a spin move like that. When he can run like that, just give him the yeah, ball. Speed like that always draws comparisons. He can run. Yeah, I, see myself I knew it was going to be Michael Vick. I'd be really interested to see a race between him and Lamar. He never timed to 40, right? But, I mean, the speed is insane. I, you can't just run this guy down because as soon as he escapes the pocket, he turns it on. He's fast as coach. Oh, so trying to run him down is hard. I call him a cheat code. <laughs> like, you know, just watching him. You get him in front, he does a little, he just sizes you up. And mm, that was the step that we saw in the first part of the video. Inside, outside, laters. He's out of there, he just disappears. I think that's cheating, the way, the way he plays. 
haven't gotten to his passing yet, because no, we if haven't. you only focus on his legs, he'll kill you with his arm. His ability. Damn. Cheat code, alright? Triple threat. Run yourself, give it to the running back, or, or fire downfield. And look, if either option's not working, just stick to the other two. What is great about you know a quarterback that possesses that kind of speed and that kind of agility is the ability to get out of trouble. And it's going to give you a bit more confidence to stay possibly in a certain position for that that little bit longer. That's either going to allow you to you know roll out really nicely or get a, a, a difficult pass off just at the last second. It creates confidence. Ability to even sit in the pocket and deliver strikes. He's got the arm talent. Uh, the decision making's coming. He's still a young guy, but I mean, he's he's making all the plays. A lob pass, right corner of the end zone, on the money. What a pass by Kyler Murray. People talk about his legs a lot, but I think he's one of the most accurate uh, QBs in this game right now. And the harder he works, he's going to be, you know, elite. Yeah. Let's have a look at that. In this game right now. and Mate, it's actually impossible for me to try and articulate how tough this catch would have been. Running at full speed, arms completely outstretched, with a ball that you can't even see until it's, you know, within, what, 10 feet of landing? In your hands what a catch what a throw what a catch and i'm assuming uh what a touchdown the harder he works he's gonna be you know elite is he uh, on his way to being one of the elite qbs in the nfl oh yeah if he keeps it up for sure and he has a great talent and um deandre hopkins too he throws it to that makes magnificent plays which brings us to perhaps the most magnificent play of last season hopkins to the left three receivers to is it a one-handed catch i'm getting that vibe the right only one play that contributed to his nearly 4,000 passing yards and over 800 rushing yards came instantly named the Hale Murray. The Hale Cardinals trail Murray, bit of a play on words there. I like it by four. They're out of timeouts, 11 seconds left in the game. No timeouts Snap. at the halfway line, down by four. What magic are we going to see happen here? That's the ball. Me, I'm thinking like. He's rolling out to his left, right-handed QB. Can he get the ball over there? So I was just watching the game like it was like I was a fan. Slips a tackle, got to launch it. He does. Left side, into the end zone, jump ball, and it is. Is it caught? Is it caught? Oh, my goodness, it's caught. DeAndre Hopkins caught it. I couldn't believe oh. that that ball was perfect. The catch was perfect, and uh, that was my first ever time winning or losing from a Hail Mary. So... You know, I'm definitely excited for next year. Excited for that. Wow. So it is true then. The Hail Mary does indeed pay off sometimes. Imagine sitting on the sideline as a defender, having made that last stop. It's all in the hands of the offense. 11 seconds to go. You would be watching it just like a fan, right? I mean, I'm not I'm not sure if we saw any celebrations there, but they would have been immense. That's just perfect. And uh, that was my... Look at that. I'm going to say that this man... I'm going to say that Trey White was actually hit off of the ball Trey White probably had the best chance of taking that catch but he was hit in mid-air from his other man coming in from the side let's watch it again into the end zone jump ball and it is is it caught is it caught oh my goodness it's yeah that'd be disappointing caught DeAndre Hopkins caught it I couldn't believe but in saying that I think it went through White's hands so no great catch Dead. That ball was perfect, the catch was perfect, and uh, that was my first ever time winning or losing from a Hail Mary. So, you know, I'm definitely excited for next year. Excited for that. Well, I know one thing you're excited for, and that's your next pick six opportunity. And hopefully you're not playing against the Seahawks. Um, But with all that being said, guys, that brings us to the end of another video. And before we leave, let's look up his stats from last year. He's 5'9", 5'10". They changed that. No, he's actually, he's a solid 5'10", 5'10 and 1'8", actually. So we'll give him that. He's over 90 kgs, so he's he's got a bit of muscle on him. Look at him at Texas A&M. Look at that guy. Fresh faced, eh? Eh? Probably throwing Hail Marys just like he is in the, the NFL. He's a baseballer. Uh, a very successful baseballer, actually. In fact, he signed a contract which included a $4.66 million contract signing bonus but then he continued his football career won the Heisman Trophy 
and decided to enter the NFL draft also, which as we all know, ended up with a first pick. First overall pick. Some believe that Murray's pursuit of a football career at the expense of a potential one in baseball was a mistake because of his limited stature relative to a typical NFL quarterback. If you ask me, from what we've seen in this video so far, that argument is null and void. At the combine, he was not expected to match his listed height of 5'10", <laughs> because colleges often exaggerate measurements to make players more attractive to professional teams. Murray's final measurements were 5'10 and 1 8th. <laughs> so fuck you. <laughs> Similar to that of Seattle Seahawks starting quarterback Russell Wilson. Despite not taking part in individual drills at the Combine, many saw Murray's draft stock improve because of his greater than expected measurements. So guys, if nothing else, what you can take away from this is don't overestimate your height or weight. Alright, 5'10 is not 6 foot, okay? But in this case, he was 5'10 and 1 8th of an inch. In the 2020 NFL season, he played a total of 16 games, which matched his uh, record set the year before for the most games started by a rookie quarterback 16 so he played 16 started 16 he's been the starter since day one and uh that's what i like to hear nfl offensive rookie of the year in 2019 and in the next year the offensive rookie of the year was won by a quarterback once again in justin herbert so in 16 games he had 375 completed passes from 558 attempts at a completion percentage of 67.2 3971 total yards 26 passing touchdowns to 12 interceptions which brings his career totals to 46 touchdowns and 24 interceptions with an average quarterback rating of 90.9 .9. he's rushed oh well, this is pretty impressive last year he rushed for 819 yards and scored 11 rushing touchdowns as a quarterback. And if we look at his Cardinals franchise records, in the year before, he got the most rushing touchdowns by a rookie quarterback with four. And are you trying to tell me that there's been an NFL quarterback playing for the Arizona Cardinals that scored more than 11 rushing touchdowns in a season? Was it Michael Vick? Could well have been. Let's look him up. Was it Michael Vick? No, it wasn't. Actually, who was it? Arizona, all right. If this pulls up the applicable list, I'll be surprised. Arizona Cardinals most rushing touchdowns by a quarterback in a season. Whoa! David Johnson with 16. John David Crow with 14. MacArthur Lane with 11. And in fourth spot, we have the man himself, Kyler Murray with 11. So equal third all time. 16 rushing touchdowns for David Johnson, but I'm assuming he wasn't quarterback. <laughs> that's for sure no no he was running back and in second spot john david crow was also a running back macarthur lane was a running back and uh there we have it an equal third kyla murray who i will say with 100 percent confidence now is the arizona cardinals season rushing touchdown record holder by a quarterback and that my friends is a record he would most likely be very proud of in fact, I'm proud of him. And uh, look, I've never played a snap in my life. But uh, for all you Cardinals fans out there, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy your quarterback, Kyler Murray. He's been in the league for two years and he's already setting records. So for me, as a football fan, sitting down here in Christchurch, New Zealand, what a player. And I can't wait to see him play this year. So guys, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button. And I will see you in the next episode of Rugby Player Reacts. Peace out.